scales back the rate of increase of the carbon price or does something else to kind of uh, soften it uh, to help with affordability concerns in, in the next election? In the coming I, I would um, sincerely disagree with the premise of your question that carbon pricing is, is hurting affordability. I think that both what Minister Wilkinson and I have shown and demonstrated what 300 economists, independent organizations have also shown is that uh, the majority of Canadians are better off with carbon pricing and the rebate than, than without it. So the anti, so that's the first answer to the question. The second answer to your second part of the answer to your question is no. But how can you say it doesn't have an impact on affordability when almost a year ago the Prime Minister stood here and announced a carve-out for home eating, heating oil um, as Canadians complained and, and talked about a cost of living crisis? I don't want to monopolize the microphone, maybe my friend... Like, but was that not the moment where your government admitted there was a connection between carbon pricing and affordability? No. Um, so. One of the things that we have always said is that the price on pollution needs to be put in place in a manner that is affordable for Canadians. The one exception in terms of people getting more money back were people who actually heat their homes with heating oil because it's much more expensive, three to four times as expensive than natural gas in most parts of the country. And so we looked at that situation. We said we actually need to address that issue in the context of an affordability challenge. We have addressed the broader issues of affordability in the structure of, of carbon pricing that exists. It's not an exemption, it's a pause. And during that pause, we're actually paying for people to implement heat pumps to be able to reduce their, uh, their emissions and the cost of actually heating their homes. And then the price will go back on. It was to address that one niche area where there was an affordability challenge. And we ensured that we actually did that in a manner that was short term, um, and that, that did it in a manner that was consistent with everybody else, which is 8 out of 10 Canadians get more money back. Heat pumps don't work at minus 20. Polyev. But why do you think, but why do you opposition. think, why do you think your climate plan is not resonating with Canadians? Well, it's much easier to say ax to tax and, and leave it at that than to explain to Canadians, well, climate change is real and we need to, do be, we need to be doing something about it. And this is one of the measures we've put in place, and, and this is how it works. Like, you can say acts of tax in 10 seconds. Explaining why we need to act on climate and, and how carbon pricing and the rebate works takes, is much more difficult. Uh, that being said, we, we've, we've shifted the way we, we talk about it, and we are seeing that more and more Canadians understand that they are getting the rebate, that, that it is helping them, and that's what we will continue doing in the coming but months. Minutes, You're are you such a joker. Canadians just don't get it. No, I'm saying it's a complex issue, and it's been a comp I've been working on climate change. I've been I've been working on climate change for over 30 years, and and over those 30 years, many organizations have been working to help Canadians understand. And Canadians are no different than, than Europeans or Americans. It is a complex issue to understand. So Mr. 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 Cabinet, Mr. Minister, can we get an update on the? It may no longer support a consumer carbon price. What do you make of that then? If they don't support it, if the province of British Columbia is ready to walk away from its own consumer carbon pricing, is it fair to argue that the national consensus still exists that this is a viable policy? I don't think the NDP knows what the, where the NDP stands on this. Um, we've heard the, the leader of the NDP says that he... He, was no, he wasn't sure, but we've heard MPs saying, no, 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 we still support carbon pricing. So I think you should ask them, really. Uh, but the fact remains, everything that Jonathan said, like 300 economists, independent organizations, the, the international monetary funds, the World Bank, are all saying that this is one of the best measures to fight climate change. And the Canadian system is not only a, an environmental measure, but it's also a social measure, helping Canadians with affordability. Jonathan, I don't know if you...